Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today I've got the Parrot Mambo to look at. So I bought this a few months ago, it was on special offer, I think at Curry's and a few other places were selling this for 79 quid. So we're selling the Mission Pack and the FPV Pack. So I'll show you what you get for your money in the pack. Keep your eye open if you do want one of these because it's not the first time I've seen it on sale. So this is the Mission Pack. So in here you get the Parrot Mambo, the fly pad, the mount for your phone, the gun, the grabber, a battery, charging cable, and in here, I don't know what this is, and in here you also get some little BB balls for the cannon. So let's let me show you this first before we look at the camera. So this is the Mambo itself. Uh, no guessing from where Right, got their inspiration from the Tello from. Very similar type of thing. Big difference with this one is if you have the camera, which I'll show you later, it does have an SD card in. So it has optical flow sensor underneath and a sonic sensor. Uh, very similar dimensions to the Tello. It has the charging cable at the back because that's the way it charges up. And these are the batteries that you get for it. You can get a couple of these for 15 quid. The flight time is nothing like as good as the Tello, I'll tell you that for now but it's decent so that flicks in the back of there and it will power up little red lights is when it's trying to initialize itself so on the top of it let's look at the fly pad actually first so you've got your fly pad you've probably seen these before and other stuff i like these the decent little pads the quality is decently made on them they take re it doesn't take batteries it recharges from a usb underneath which is what the cables for as well and then you've got a series of controls here this will fly all the mini mini drones series and you can also fly a parrot bebop on this if you want to do so so i'll show you more about this when we set it up for the control for the camera and etc so this is the phone holder it's a bit weird looking it clips in the top like that and then you have a little screw on the underside of here you tighten this little screw up can be a bit awkward to get to wish it came in the box fitted so you could just put it back in the box you shouldn't leave it in its box but there you go you screw that in force that down and there's your phone holder just take that off for now so these are what you get in the box so this is the cannon so this fires little bb balls as you can see and it works on this four point connector which is built into the top of the drone here so there's various different things you can buy for this uh, I believe I think you can get a torch as well this is the mission pack so this comes with a grabber which I'm not over certain what the big use for this is so this is the cannon so the cannon goes on the top here these four you line the dots up and it's got a little slot in here and as you can see it clips into there we've got the power it's connected up Just let it initialize so let's connect it up I'll show you it working. So you go into the app because this isn't using the camera, so we're just going to connect straight from the app. So we're going to connect your drone, tell it to turn off the fly pad. So if you just follow what it says on the screen, you cannot go wrong. So we're going to turn off the fly pad, it's establishing the connection between this and the drone. It's then going to tell me I've got a cannon connected to it, which I have, and then it's going to tell me, ask me if I want to connect to fly pad. Click on that, turn your fly pad on. Select your fly pad, which we have done, and then go back, hit fly. So you've obviously got no camera in here. So all you've got is a timer, and it's going to tell you your speed you're flying at. So we don't really need to look at the app anymore. So the cannon takes BB balls in the top here, and if you press this button here on the controller, it fires the BBs. So rather than just fire BBs here discriminately, I want to put a picture in picture video in here so you can see it in the air, firing the balls out. It's actually quite accurate and such a lot of fun. It really is good fun. The mechanism's quite strong, it's not stupidly strong, but you probably tell better when you watch the video. So, also with this is the grabber. So, if we take off this, take the cannon off, and we connect the grabber on. So, the grabber's 
in two pieces. Again, if you look at it, it's got a four point connector, it plugs in there like a Lego brick and then the grabber goes into the top here. So now you have a grabber, same control on your controller. And you can grab things and try and pick them up. Again, I'm not too certain about how you want to do it. So you can fit this in different places, obviously. I've just put it on the top there to show you, but I'm not over certain about how good this bit is. I mainly bought this thing because it came with a camera, obviously, as well as it. So that's them. So let's just take that off and I'm going to show you the FPV pack. So when you buy this, you can also you also get this one with it, or I did at the time. And this comes with the latest goggles, which I've not even opened, but you've probably all seen these before. Another battery, which is what makes this thing so great, and the camera. So let's just show you the camera. So this is the camera that goes on the top. Same way again, it connects on the four pins, but it takes an SD card, which is a massive advantage of, of a lot of things, because you're not relying on the image coming, transmission coming back to your phone. So if you get break up in your FPV on your phone, doesn't mean you're going to get it on your camera, you're not going to. So again, this connects on here like this now this will not work so what you need to do now is come out of the app and then go back in to your Wi-Fi settings because this emits a Wi-Fi signal so we're going to go into here and there we go Mambo 738460 is the camera if we come out of there and we go back into the Parrot Mambo We're going to connect your drone, so it's asking me to turn on the drone, which it already is. So it's searching for it at the minute. Got the drone, again it's got the fly pad, now it's asking me to fly. Now you will have, when it boops up, taking a long time to boot, we never know when it does this. There you go, so you're into it, you've got your FPV image, there is a little bit of lag but it's not bad at all. This camera is 720p, 30 frames per second, and it's roughly 8 megabits per second. You'll see at the end of this video, I've got flight footage flying and footage from the camera. You have to remember the room's dark because the weather in the UK is appallingly bad for June. So you're going to see the video footage looks a bit grainy and dark, but I hope you get the idea of how sharp it looks and also how well this thing flies. This thing does fly really, really nicely. I think it flies possibly better than the Tello. I enjoy flying it more than the Tello because it's got a bit more oomph about it. So this is the app. So you've got hand launch here, or you can just do a straight take off there. You've got a set of settings so you can adjust different things. You can have drift mode, you can put it in racing mode, or you can have it in normal mode. You can adjust how you want your controller to work, what direction you want it to be in. For the sticks, you can have camera set to auto record. If you ask, if you look at why it says a hull, you've got to remember this thing's made for other, other mini drones. So this is a mini drone app. And then you can go maximum insulation, maximum vertical speed. If you see I've got it all slow because I have been filming with it. You can set your maximum altitude. You can flat trim it, in other words, level it out. Bank turns on. Then you can have your HUD type. That's for when you're using the goggles. And then the IPD adjustment normal, small and large, and it does actually do, do something. Here's where you can adjust your band for your Wi-Fi and your streaming quality. And then in here you can stream straight to Facebook, I believe, if you want to do such a thing. I've never tried that, but I'm presuming it works really well. So the app itself isn't over complicated. There's nothing over complicated on this. Remember, there's no GPS on this. It's a straight altitude hole drone with optical flow. On here, if you see where it says video, if you click on that, I can change my mode so I can go sport or I can go FPV for when you put it into the goggles. So when it's in the goggles, this is what it uses and it combines both images. It's a bit like um, putting one of these into a VR headset. But again, I've not tried it with this one, but I've got another set of goggles with another one that came from Parrot. It'll tell you whether you've got your SD card in here, how your battery percentage is, and your transmitter percentage. You can register a parrot, I haven't bothered. 
and then go back into fly. So the app is the Parrot Mini Drone app, I should have said that at the beginning, and it's available from, I've disconnected that app, it's available from iTunes, uh, iStore rather, and also the Play Store for Android. Works well on both, I've tried it on both and I've had no issues at all. So you'll have seen from the video the grabber working and you've also seen by now the gun working. So what I'm going to show you now is this flying around the lounge, show you how stable it is and also how nice the camera, oh it depends what you think, I don't think the camera looks bad at all it certainly looks a lot better outside, as soon as the weather gets better I will put another video up of this flying outside, uh, I'll turn the speed right up into sport mode show you how fast it goes and also show you what the camera, to, what camera quality looks like on a decent day I wait till it's a brighter day then but at the minute it's blowing a gale and it's non-stop raining and it has been for a few days now Overall I really like this drone, I think it, it's crazy money if you buy this pack and the mission pack and they haven't got it on offer, I think it's just shy of £200 and it's not worth anything like that but if you can get it for under 100 quid, these are good for novelty value, your kids are probably going to have a good time with that they are good for novelty value and if you just buy this pack, the FPV pack, I think it's good value it's at that price, not at, not at the full price, I just have to keep iterating that. So all in all, yeah, it's a winner for me. I have got the original Mambo, or whatever it was called, because it came on a rolling spider that long since broke, but the drone was absolutely fine, like the, the wheels, if you've ever seen one of them, things snapped quite quickly. But it's flies are very similar to that, the only difference is now, of course, that on the top of this thing, you now have these connectors and you didn't on the original rolling spider. You didn't have a camera at all. So. Highly recommend this one if you can get it at a cheap price, but only if you can get it at a cheap price. I'll leave you with a bit of video footage. Thanks ever so much for watching. You've had a fantastic day. So this is a video of it flying in the air. As you can see, it's very stable. The optical flow works really, really well. The speed was toned down because obviously I'm flying it in the lounge, but you'll get the general idea. I'm sorry the camera footage looks a bit grainy. It's because it's quite a dark day outside and there's not enough natural light coming into the room. So this is the footage taken from the SD card which is on the camera on the top of the drone. Like I said in the video it's a very grey day so you can't really get a good representation of how decent the camera looks. I've obviously tried it in better days and it looks really nice. So I will get another video up at some point of it and show you you're flying outside and how much brighter it looks on a nice day. But it's quite a sharp camera as you'll see.